What's going on, good looking? This is Garrett Brown Art Studio, and I'm back with another video. I hope you're feeling good because you're looking good. And this is the Feel Good Painting Station. It's good to try new things. So we're going to do this colander pour. Let's go ahead and get started. Today we're doing a colander pour using a split cup. And today we're using four colors. And I'm going to show you the consistency. All of my paints have been mixed the same with the exception of the base coat. And what I did, I mixed these up a day ago and I actually strained it because I'm using American Floetrol and it tends to have some chunks in it. As you can see, it's super fluid. The recipe will be in the description. All right, so today we're gonna take a little bit of my pillow paint. And I'm a torch for bubbles. And I'm gonna be using Mixed Media Girls Cup. And you can get that at mixedmediagirl.com. And we're going to lay our colors in each chamber. Just going to pour it in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our cup of paint, our colander, and we're going to start pouring. So I got this from Walmart. Don't really know the price because I didn't have a tag. So I suggested that I pay $1.97 and that's what I paid for it. <laughs> and we're just going to pour paint in like so. And I'm going to turn the canvas. Yo, this is freaking gorgeous. Now as the paint settles, we're just going to let it do its thing. And I have no clue what the outcome is going to be, but I love what we're seeing in here. Um, these colors are mixing so beautifully. So I'm just going to turn the canvas so you can kind of see everything. Look at that white. Oh, I love that. All right, now as the paint settles, I'm gonna slowly lift this up. I am expecting some drips. <laughs> okay. 
Alright, we got a couple bubbles, so I'm going to use my torch. We had more than a couple. <laughs> I like it. It's di it's so different for me. Um, and the freaking colander is gorgeous. So now I am going to spin, but I want to pull some of this paint down and it will move very easily. All right, my colors have mixed a little bit, so maybe I will try them thicker next time. And some air bubbles are popping up, which make which look like cells, but they're definitely air bubbles. Um, but I actually like the air bubbles. Definitely something different and cool to try. Got some air bubbles. All right, what do you guys think? Something different. I know some of my loyal subscribers are going to be like, ah, this is not you. <laughs> but it's good to try new things. This is my very first calendar port ever. So didn't know what to expect, but I like it. Get you guys in for a close up. It's very psychedelic. Like, look at those colors. I mean, that's really, really pretty. It would be hard to emulate this type of look. And I love how the white stayed white in the blues. And we have some little itty bitty cells from the torching. I kind of was playing around off camera, didn't know it was gonna actually do something. So I have some leftover paint. It's not much. But we are experimenting and having fun. So let's just see what, what we can do with this thing. All right, let's pour. Let's see what we got. And this time, I'm going to turn again. So cool what you can get with a split cup. Woo! Didn't take much spinning. So we got a whole different piece here, uh, which is cool. vibrant what I should have done was actually tilt this because um, I would have 
my lines are going to have been so wavy, but I kind of like the waves. It's like really psychedelic. Those gorgeous rings of yellow and gold really showed up at the end. Now I am intrigued to see how this will dry, especially with the yellows. We're actually going to tilt some. Try not to mess that ring up in the center because I got a little bit more paint in one part and so it's moving more. So I'm trying to kind of even it out. Okay. I took my ring off center more because I like it better that way and I love this part at the end. So I'm, I'm happy with this. It's so cool. Look at those little itty bitty rings. Isn't that amazing? Like it just reminds me of like flying for some reason. I kind of have a few over here as well. So let me know in the comments what you think. I think I want to try a few more of these um, and try out my colander again. I actually found, went thrifting and found another colander. Um, so I'm excited to try that one as well.